virtually around and uh, we'll definitely get some serious uh, stream uh, kind of interactions and functionalities sorted out for this channel because yeah, I think it would be fun if we can have some kind of wagering, you know, fun wagering system with these games. Anyway, right, we're into the game. Let's get the text back up so people know. Yeah, let's do oh, oh, hello, Zai. I don't, I don't know if Zai can hear me. He's testing. Testing. Uh, oh, oh, he's in my channel. You're, Zai, of course you can. Zai, you, you never have to ask if you can talk. How, I mean. How do I talk? Well, by moving your mouth and uh, projecting air from your lungs. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Zai. Right, Zai, um, do you want to come on the team speak, Zai? That's probably the best way. If you come into the team speak and just below the game that's happening, there's the spectator channel, which I'm in. I'm guessing you are Das Wunderbaby. Is this Zai? Oh, hello, Zai. How are you doing? This is very nice. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, if you want to go onto this settings in Dota 2, uh, 30 seconds to battle. Called mute co broadcasters. <laughs> you got it? We're good? So, Zai, how are you doing? First of all, congratulations, of course. Well done on winning the old MDL. That was some exciting stuff. It was uh, pretty, pretty crazy how you guys were able to deal with everyone. Yeah, what I've got to ask, what happened in that game against Empire where they beat you? Well, how come that went wrong? After your perfect streak, that one match, what was special about it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That didn't matter at the end of the day, did it? It was, it was all good. What, what did you think of the event as a whole? Was it, was it good being out there? Did you rate it as a player? Was it, was it one that you said, they, they did a good job there with the pros or...? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the venue looked pretty flashy, but uh, as you said, I, I got the impression that it was pretty empty and, and not a lot of people were actually were able to come out to it, but the viewer figures are good. I mean, I guess you've got a massive Chinese audience, audience watching and... And did you get the impression with the Chinese a big fan of Team Secret out there? Obviously, the fact that there wasn't many Chinese teams making it to the final stages of the tournament, but... Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's... You can't have it! Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I see, I see. So they didn't really help themselves with that one. Yeah. I did. Did you think that you were going to meet Empire in the finals? Looking at the brackets when you were going through it. Or were you thinking Vici? Yeah. 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 Well, I was all good. And anyway, Zai. So, have you been? Have you played many games yet this season? In face it. No. Okay. Okay. Are you going to, or are you, you're gonna you're gonna get involved? Get your hands dirty. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's your next. Uh, that's your next big tournament, isn't it? Yeah, that's your bigger one. You were. You, you were. Yeah, you were at Frankfurt last year, weren't you? Of course you were. Yeah, it's, it's a good tournament. I guess he must be, unless he's on some some crazy kind of lag and ping. He must be. I'd imagine so. Yeah, it must be. Is it Arteezy's back in America, is he? Is that why he's on US? Ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, is that, what, what kind of tour? Is, is Frankfurt your last tournament then before TI? Or are there other things in between? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. That's right. I think you've got that one actually this weekend, haven't you? I'm pretty sure you're playing against EG. Yes. What, what what do you think about EG? Do you think EG are definitely still one of the one of the top team? Well, obviously they are one of the top teams, but you know, obviously in the, D, the um, what was it Austin? They didn't do too great, but I guess it was a best of one. Do you still think they're definitely up there with you guys and Vici? Yeah. No. No, no, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, so what are you are you? But you're back at home then. I take it, so you're not you're not all out in Turkey, are you? Nah. Ah, I see. Ah, that's 
must, must be nice, chilling out. How long were you out in China for? Was it, what, a couple of weeks? That was quite a short one. Yeah. Good, good, good. And what's well, I anyway? You're here in the casting channel. Do you, do you fancy talking about the game? Is are you up for that? Sure. Yeah. So anyway, let's have a look. Who have we got playing this? Well, we've been for us. Uh, so he's got S4. He's on his TA. And he's been backed up by Screen Tib Jerex. And have you been watching many of the games so far in this season? Like, have you seen the new guys like Tib and England? No, not at all. Okay. So Tib indeed is what he's one of the guys that's worked up. So. A lot of people are going to keep a close eye on him. He's playing a safe lane Nyx Assassin in the last match, which didn't didn't work out too great. But uh, I guess the great thing about this Face It Pro League is we see a lot of hectic fights. Talking about it, top lane. Well, Ivani's in a bit of trouble here. Wave of Terror's going to come through. He's looking for Tib. He's got the Soul Rip from Cinderin, and they might be able to turn this one. But Tib trying to keep his distance. They're all incredibly low. The Quill Sprays are stacking up. Gyro's going to pop. Scream with three stacks on him. Well, he's turning back into this one, but how? You've got to be careful of those Quill Sprays. And looks like, well, Jarex, he wants to find the Magic Missile onto Cinderin. Not going to be enough. Ivan will pick himself up a double kill. And well, I guess that's the power of the old Bristleback Undying Lane, which uh, definitely has the possibility to destroy what the Dyer are running up against it. Bottom oh. is under attack. Uh. I mean, if, if a team was doing that against you, is, is it best to try and contest it? Or is it best to kind of dodge it and leave a, a solo hero that's going to be able to get at least something from the lane, but at the same time not, not throw away any lives? Oh. Yeah, I mean, well, so obviously you're talking about the fact that it's half of them to deal with Undying. I guess the strength in heroes like the Night's Talk and the Venge is once they start to roam like this, and they're not going to find the bounty hunter, but they did find the Shadow Fiend. They've got a lot of potential in mid lane. S4, <laughs> he just goes ham, doesn't he? Takes down the old Undying. Cinder in there will drop, and now we have to clear out this Tombstone as well. Go Black, maybe seeing if he can find anything off the back of this. S4's got the Refraction, though, and the Screen's going to be able to back himself up to the other side at the moment. Bottom lane, Mind Control on his pretty much signature Darkseer doing very well here on this offlane. 27 CS at the moment. Bulldog, he's been doing fine against it though. 28 for 3 on the puck on this solo safe lane. I mean, looking at the draft, Sai, is there anyone that you'd say has the stronger draft? No. Because, Zai, you were, you were the one, you were drafting at MDL, weren't you? No. You've given up completely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bottom lane with Sylvange going in there with the Night Stalker and Mind Control. Able to secure the double kill there for the team. They do lose the Night Stalker though, but not all things end done. Looking pretty good for the Dyer. I mean, yeah, one thing I've, I want to ask you, Zai, and I, I, don't, I don't want it to kind of, you know, pull up any bad memories. And what, what, what went wrong at Star Ladder? Like, obviously, after that, you guys literally just won everything. But Star Ladder, it was just a bit of a hiccup, and people were like, what, what's going on? I mean, did, was it just luck of the draw with it? I don't know. What. What was wrong with the team? Okay. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since that, you guys, whatever kind of problem you had, it's it's totally been fixed. I mean, did it just take a, a good sitting down and discussing what what the best direction for the team was going to be, and kind of agree rather than trying to go your separate ways? Yes. Yeah.
Yeah. No, oh, it's just well, that's, it's it's all in the past now. And hey, who cares about Star Ladder when you're winning stuff like what? You won the Summit. You won MDL, and you won something else, didn't you? What was the third one? There was another big one. You came first. Red Bull. That was it as well. That was it. Oh, it's not laying it back. Could be in trouble here. They're trying to go in, but he's got the back of a sooner, and Tombstone's going to be dropped. And well, once more, the power off the Bristol and dying. You're not going to be able to killing these two. And Sib and Screen will just keep themselves safe and sound. Oh, that's a. That's a. Well, why, why would you go for Midas in this kind of game, sir? You. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to quite find Gold Black. We'll be able to get himself out. No. Here we go. Night time. Screen's going to try and go in on Sivan, but we've seen them have trouble killing the Bristleback before. I don't know what makes them think they could do anything different this time. And now they're going to be walking into Cinder, and Bordo's going to be here as well with the Dream Coil onto two. And, well, Screen and Tip looking for the play. I don't think they're going to find it here. Van turns his back to the Rocket Barrage. Tip, he wants to find it. Actually popping the stick charges. Hang on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lilico's trying to clean up, but, well, Tip did find himself a triple kill, and... I got to be. I thought that was gonna go absolutely horribly there for the dire, but somehow the rating just melted to those guys, and and they they just cocked up as I. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Illusion. Oh dear! Oh dear! Four to twelve at the moment. The dire. Looking in a pretty, pretty damn strong position. Let's have a look at the net worth. What are we seeing? Well, it is good old S4. Top of the bottom moment, 5.6K in terms of net worth. And, well, bottom lane, go back. Discount at the dark here. Isn't going to make a jump on it. And looks like things are going to just go back to this bit of a passive time. Jerax is pretty far out here in the mid lane. Bulldog coming forward. Doesn't have the blink dagger, though. Of course, 1,100 in the bank. It's going to be a little bit of a wait until he's got that one online. Until we see any kind of action from the old dog and ooh, in the radiant jungle. Screen. Oh, it's gonna be scouted out by Go Black. The ping's coming out as well. Now Syndrome's here. Well, it's gonna be hard to find a kill onto mind control. Especially with the backup of Night Stalker. And we've got in fact S4. Is he coming down for this one? Nah, he's just gonna head back to mid or just working on these ancients here. With the help of Jurex. It's pretty good timing. 11 minutes in. Not gonna lie. Desolator. <laughs> S4, uh, he's gonna be happy with that. It's all right. We're... And I guess this is the beauty of getting Desolator at this point. The Radiant probably don't expect this to be happening. And uh, at the least, not at the rate that S4 and Jurax are going to be able to clean this one out. The Radiant, they're going to try and take the tier one here in the mid lane. But as you said, this is going to be just giving space for the Dire to get, to get the Aegis. And, and well, S4, TA do the right. I'm trying to think, have you, has S4 played TA in any of your games recently? He didn't at MDL, did he? No. Yeah. No, no, no. I, is he just more comfortable putting Artor in that role when TA's in the game? Or do you think both can play it as well? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to see a bit of a wrap around here for S4. Oh, look what he's got. The S4 rune. Is he going to be able to do anything with it? He's help, hoping to find someone here at the camp. Now he's going to go towards the lane. Bulldog. Cinder and Lalico, they're all here, and here we go straight away with the mail on to Lico. TP reaction straight away. Look at this damage, is too much. S4's gonna find himself a kill. He'll be able to get himself out as well, and maybe go back in here with a slow for the court out. It's gonna be a double kill. Ivan will be able to fend him off here with the quill sprays. And that's double kill there for TA, and, and well, S4 rune living up to its name there. Also gonna be able to find this tier one in the middle as the one. The question is, Zai, how screwed are the Radiant at this point? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, 15 to 4 the most triple kill on S4, 6 for 0. I guess at this point with 2.1k in the gold, it'll probably end up just going for the straight up blink and that's 13 minutes into a game. It's, this is wow. TA's been having a bit of a blinder. Yeah. I really
really doesn't and especially against a draft of heroes like the undying i mean you look at this and and i i, I don't know what the rating were would you would you have said the rating were kind of playing more to have a bit of earlier game dominance with heroes like the undying because at this point we'll go that's gonna be okay they don't actually have any detection on these two but i feel like with the lineup that they've got it's gonna be kind of hard for the radiant to come back into this one <laughs> That's shots fired. <laughs> what, what do you mean he's just stupid? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Then so, so the drive. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's Cinder and going. Now the team is a little less stupid, and well, if I'm, he might fall as well. The male strikes. They're a little bit too much. S4 doesn't care. He's got the ages. Did he get the uh, blink dagger out to him? Yes, he does. Oh, he's got 1,200 gold on top of that blink dagger already. This is a bit ridiculous. And well, that's going to be a godlike streak for S4, and and I can see why. Uh, I see why you guys win a fair few tournaments. This this lad's pretty good at this old Dota, and, and well, Gigi's going to be called and S4 just a little bit too good there, Zah. All oh, right, the drop. I should have noticed. I think him. I think it might have been actually. 